Well, hi, everybody. It's Doug. And uh, boy, this one is a long time coming. So uh, this came to me from good old Chris Capune. There was, this was in the same package where I received my Suki lock, and, uh, which I still love and display every day. Uh, I have never handled, more or less picked, a Ruko before having received this one. And uh, I got to tell you, you may remember it's been quite a long time since I've received this. This is one of those locks when I'm working on a lock and I just can't get anywhere. First of all, I try to use the Bosnian build 10 minute rule or so. Uh, I work on it for a while. And if I'm not getting anywhere, I just put it down for a while, pick it up a little while later, put it down. And it just sits there and mocks me, sits on my desk going, you're never going to get me picked. You're never getting in. Ha ha ha. And it's evil. And anyways, uh, I finally did get to a point where I could pick this. And then, of course, there was a period after that where I couldn't pick it again. The, the tensioning, I think, is so incredibly subtle. So either way, I am actually to a point where I can at least you know, get it picked in a reasonable amount of time. And uh, here we are going to hopefully pick it. And then I will finally get to see what's inside it because I have not, I have not actually gutted this. So I was just waiting to get to a point where I could pick this for you. And let's hope that today it will behave itself. So here we go. Uh, I am not, I got to tell you, Normally, you hear me counting down through the pins. I'm saying, okay, pin three, pin four, a little bit here. This is this is working. This is not. No, <laughs> this lock is nothing but torment for me. So um, it's going to be an interesting pick. I don't expect to have any useful information for you, but I expect that by the end, we will have it open and be able to show you what's inside. I will tell you, uh, since I've been expecting a long pick, uh, whoops, dropped my tensioner already. But because I'm, because I'm expecting this to be a long pick, I will try to give you a time in the upper right corner here, telling you around when uh, this, when, when to fast forward to in the video. So let's get going in here and see what we can do. Uh, I've had a couple of different, I'm actually going to turn this a little bit so I don't get carpal tunnel altogether, but I've had a couple of different uh, experiences with this, uh, the old Peterson gem, the one I call the, the battleship. And then sometimes I have to switch to the 25,000 Sparrows uh, Offset Hybrid. So we'll see. I'll just see what I'm getting as I'm picking here. But these pins must be some pretty interesting ones, I'll tell you that much. Um, okay. Based on what I'm feeling, experience tells me that it's already time to get switched to the Sparrows hope okay got a click there you could hear i'm getting these little clicks but i'm pretty sure these pins have like a shelf on the edge where you feel like you got it picked but you're on the wrong spot in the pin okay Focusing on what I feel inside there. I'm going to try to actually fulcrum off my thumb. Sorry if I am breathing heavily in everybody's ear. When I get intense, that happens hearing all these tiny little clicks and that's where I feel like I'm getting up over that shoulder kind of a thing. Okay. Tiny little bits of progress.
definitely not another lock like Aruko in the way it picks. Okay, a little click at the back there. That's what I find is I just... Various amounts of tension, adjustments, pressure. And then for a while, nothing happens. Revisit everything with a little different tension. And all of a sudden, I get another movement. Click at the back there. So, you know, I'm getting something, but I'm probably probably picking in circles. Okay, that was one. Two. Three. I'm going to switch because I also think I tend to press a little too hard with that uh, Peterson gem. One is really loose, like like I think it thinks it's set. Ooh, actually got a little extra click out of that now. One, there's two, three, four, five, come on, six. I guess while we're at it, I haven't shown you the, the key. That's what the key looks like. You can see that uh, pin one is high, pin two is nice and low. So it's, it's a mix. Okay, not making any progress, so... Ooh, I got a little something there. It takes a lot of upward pressure, very hard on the thumb. Gem. Ooh, click. See, that's the thing. You get a little more power out of the gem. Okay. I think I lost a lot of progress there, but what I had to do was try to get some progress with number two. Two, pin number two. So I had to drop back my tension. Okay, nice click. Nice it clicks everywhere, but I always get that at the beginning. And then I kind of crank down my tension and lose everything, so. front.
two, three, four, little click, unexpected click, five, six, gave me an unexpected click, let's work my way backward, four, three, two again, that was one, Four, five, six. Now I'm going to go to my jiggling. One, two, three, four. That was not actual pin counting in that case. I was coming backwards, but I don't think anybody's listening at this point, anyways. They're just watching, fast forwarding. Waiting for the open, aren't we all? Oh, now that was some progress. Back to the sparrows.
And we have our open, 1750. There is the open. Ah, wrists are sore. So after all that work, let's get this thing gutted. Could I do that one again? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> again, I could pick this thing, but I'm definitely inconsistent at it. So let's get our, uh, let's see, our tools ready. Get this thing open with a screwdriver. Let's see if we can do the, uh, the gutting nice and quickly. Oh, interesting. Does that mean I need a star driver? I think I do. Momentary pause. Star drivers. So let's see if I even have the right size. Oh, look at that. Wow. Okie doke. So I've got a key. I will be able to I think I actually don't have the right size star, but it's close enough is what's happening. And got to make a note of how that's going. So two and eight. Okay, like that. Alrighty, and of course we need our friend the shim in there, but not until the key is turned. Nothing sounds like a Ruku, I'll tell you that. Okay, shim is placed, and follower is following. Alrighty, so there we have uh, everything exposed with the key present. Alrighty, let's start with the key pins. One, two, three, Nero Quattro, Cinco, and Seis. I hear the garage, so we're going to be interrupted by the wife. Alrighty. There, that one looks like a steel pin, interesting enough. And let's start taking a look into the Bible. Got a shim in there. I don't think I can get back to it. Oh. <laughs> and there it did me the favor of dropping out. Okie dokes. Pin one. Interesting. Yeah, this is what I was kind of figuring. Look at those pins. That is a... Doing a video. Wow. Interesting pin. Doing a video. Oh. <laughs> Number two. Number three. These are all, I think these are, well, this is an Asa Ruko, so these are all Asa pins. And I don't believe I have ever picked an Asa, but you can see 
why this is such a challenge to pick. When I say I've never picked an ASA, ASA pins, I've picked an ASA abloy lock. Look how they vary in size too, which is interesting. Okay, so we are all picked, all opened and gutted away. And I'll give you a nice close up. Look at those pins. Alrighty, quite a lock. Thank you so much, Chris Capune, for uh, sending this lock my way. Uh, this this source of frustration for quite some time, but uh, well worth it. Thanks so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching the pick and the gut, and I hope I didn't waste too much of your time, but that's what Fast Forward is for. All right, thanks, everybody. Take care. If you uh, haven't already celebrated yours, have a very happy Thanksgiving. We'll see you guys again soon. Take care. Stay well. Please do like, subscribe, and comment if you haven't already gotten the chance. Thanks.